Okay, basic arm locks for our blue belt curriculum. And back. This one's the Americana, also known as Uday Garami. Uh, we always want to have our elbow next to their head. Common mistake is people come under here. That's not good. I'm going to be here, here. Come under, grab my own wrist. I prefer, I call it a monkey grip, but here. My thumb is not around, I'm just here. Here, okay? Then I want to paint the mat with the back of his hand like it's a paintbrush. Bring his elbow towards his belt and the ceiling at the same time. Another small detail that I teach or that I like is to rotate that wrist outward like this. So simultaneously, bringing his elbow towards his belt and the ceiling, painting the mat with the back of his hand, rotating his wrist in an outward direction. Good acre on Number two, sort of a judo style entry for the cross body arm lock, Jujikitami. So oftentimes we're dealing with turtle in judo. So he's in a turtle pit position. I'm gonna step up with my foot right next to his ear. I rise up and turn. 90 degrees, I'm gonna use this opportunity to turn him over. So I grab under his arm, pull it back, okay? And I'm gonna sit straight down, grab the leg if I want, knees together, you can. So break him down, step up, turn, scoop him up. I'll take a step back here to make room for his body while I sit down and I can throw this leg over and just finish here. Key points of Jujigatami, okay? Heels into your butt, squeeze him in this way, squeeze him this way. Trap this arm here, then sit back, okay? A lot of people when they first do this think that the leverage is this bridging motion here and that I just have to lean back and bridge, but if I'm not tight, my heels, and my knees, then that doesn't do anything. You gotta stay tight. Whether or not you grab with this hand or this hand, doesn't matter. Foot over here or over, doesn't really matter to me. It just is depends, depending upon the situation and the entry that you find yourself in, they all are effective and can work. I have a preference for hooking this hand on the same side as the head because it frees up this arm to grab the leg. But sometimes they'll enter into a Jujitami and it's not uh, available, so that's fine too. Number three is sort of a escape or a counterattack reversal for an underhook turnover. So he's doing an underhook turnover on me. I'm gonna grab the gi fabric here come under, use my head to flatten them out, grab the wrist here, rotate it. See the angle? If he goes to do another turnover on me, I'm gonna grab here, so that way you can see. I grab here, okay? Get my head through it, switch this leg all the way through, use this head to flatten them out. Grab here, this wrist here, and then I keep it all tight and rotate. Okay? The key to making this work is to make sure everything is locked in tight, tight, tight. So he goes to break me down right here. This is the key. This is where it's got to be tight. If I'm loose here, too far down, and my head's not tight, it's no good. So I got to be tight on this arm right away. Grab this, if it's no gi, I can grab the back of the tricep, but I gotta lock this down and keep it locked. Okay, then I sit through, flatten out. Okay, there's a wrist lock here. I rotate, I got the arm bar, but the also I can wrist lock in. Okay. Number four, he's on his back. Uh, I did head that way. Uh, this comes to us from the traditional Gatami no Kata. So he reaches up, I allow him to grip me, I straighten out his arm, come up to a knee on belly situation, put my hands behind his elbow and trap this here, and I put pressure on it. Okay? Real, this is hard 
to understand how it's working at first, a lot of people want to really pull on this or they'll pull this arm back, shoulder back. That's not what we're doing. We're hyperextending the joint, locking it here, hyperextending the joint, and then putting downward force on it with my upper body. He does not like this. See? One more time. So he reaches up. Let him grip. This is just how it's done traditionally in the Gatama and the Kata. That's how we demonstrate it. So I straighten up my posture to straighten out his arms. Cut both hands on the back of his elbow. I'm not pulling, I'm just holding it tight. Trap this here, come up to the knee, and then pressure downward. Okay? Number five, same basic setup. He reaches for it, but then he recognizes. So then I just step over. Now we're in an Americana, Ude Garami type of situation here. It's important to keep both hands locked here and then apply pressure this way. Sometimes if they're super flexible, I've got to come around more to a north-south position. Very careful to now apply that quickly. Highly effective. Next one. Uh, this also comes to us from Kami no Kata. So here, take an overhook grip with a wizard type grip, okay? Hold this. I'm gonna come here, I'm just gonna fall to my right. Bounce out his leg, come up to his belt line with my foot or just above his thigh. I'm gonna apply pressure with my thigh against the elbow or my knee. Normal grip, take the wizard, blow this out all the way down here. And then, boom. Move good, get some angle. Boom. Double grip, overhook wizard grip. Hold it tight, put it over here. Push this out, fall down, come up, and apply pressure. 